Hello, welcome to Fogwing Learning Center. Today, we will be discussing about ECN and ECO. Let's jump right into it. An Engineering Change Notice, ECN, is a document used to communicate modifications in product design, specifications, materials, processes, or any other related factors. These changes can be initiated due to various reasons, such as improving product performance, correcting errors, cost reduction, compliance with new regulations, or responding to customer feedback. The ECN ensures that all stakeholders are informed and that the change is systematically implemented without disrupting the production workflow. What is an Engineering Change Order ECO? An ECO is a formal document that initiates the process of making changes to a product. It outlines the proposed modifications, including the affected components, reasons for the change, and potential impacts on other areas of the product or manufacturing process. What is an Engineering Change Notice, ECN? An ECN is a formal notification that a change has been approved and authorized. It communicates the details of the approved change to all affected parties, including engineering, manufacturing, quality assurance, and supply chain. The ECN process. The ECN process typically involves several key steps. Initiation. The process begins when a change is proposed. This could come from various sources, including engineering teams, quality control, suppliers, or customers. The proposal should clearly outline the reason for the change, its benefits, and potential impacts. Review and approval. Once initiated, the ECN is reviewed by a cross-functional team, including representatives from engineering, production, quality assurance, and supply chain. This team evaluates the feasibility, cost, and benefits of the proposed change. If the change is approved, it moves to the implementation phase. Documentation, detailed documentation is essential. This includes updated drawings, specifications, work instructions, and any other relevant materials. The documentation ensures that everyone involved in the production process has access to the latest information. Implementation, the approved change is then implemented in the production process. This may involve updating machinery, training employees, or coordinating with suppliers. It's crucial to have a clear plan to transition from the old to the new process smoothly. Verification and validation. After implementation, the change is verified to ensure it meets the desired outcomes. This may involve testing, inspections, and quality checks. Any issues identified are addressed promptly. Communication. Effective communication is key throughout the ECN process. All stakeholders, including suppliers and customers, should be kept informed about the change and its impact on the product. Best Practices for ECN and ECO Management To maximize the benefits of ECNs and ECOs, consider the following best practices. Clear and concise documentation. Ensure that ECNs and ECOs are well-written and easy to understand. Effective communication, communicate changes clearly and timely to all stakeholders. Centralized change management system, use a dedicated system to track and manage ECNs and ECOs. Regular review and updates, keep ECN and ECO processes aligned with evolving business needs. We hope this information has been useful. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content. For more details, visit our website, fogwing.io. We look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then take care.